It's time for another WrestlePlanet News update, as CM Punk teases the return of some old wrestling gear, John Cena talks Conor McGregor joining WWE, and we have a last minute update on Brian Danielson's appearance at AEW All Out tonight. All that and more coming up in today's video, but first... Let's start with a couple of New Japan Pro Wrestling stories and first we have an update on January's Wrestle Kingdom 16. It has now been revealed that the show will be a free night event with the first two nights airing from the traditional Tokyo Dome with the third happening in the Takayama Arena. Wrestle Kingdom has been extended to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the promotion with Antonio Inoki having founded New Japan in 1972. Wrestle Kingdom became a two night event in 2020 and they are now going one step further. It's unknown if this will be a permanent change or just a one-off. New Japan have also announced the blocks for the upcoming G1 Climax 31 tournament, which will run between September 18th and October 21st. Block A will feature Kota Ibushi, Tomohiro Ishii, Toro Yano, Shingo Takagi, Tetsuya Naito, Zack Sabre Jr., The Great Okan, Kenta, Tanga Loa, and Yujihiro Takayashi. On the other side, Block B will have Hiroshi Tanahashi, Kazuchika Okada, Hiroki Goto, Yoshihashi, Sanada, Tai Chi, Jeff Cobb, Evil, Tamatonga, and Chase Owens. Each competitor will wrestle everyone else in their block once in a league style format, earning two points for a win and one point for a draw. The person with the most points in each block will advance to the final for a one on one match to crown the winner of the G1 Climax. They will earn a briefcase with a contract for the Wrestle Kingdom main event against the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. The briefcase will then be defended in the time between the final and Wrestle Kingdom. In June, former TNA commentator Don West revealed to the world that he had been diagnosed with brain lymphoma and was set to begin immediate treatment. Brain lymphoma is a rare cancer in the lymph tissues of the brain. And I'm delighted to report that we have an update on the situation, with Don taking to Twitter to reveal to his fans that he is now in remission. He said, I want to give everyone an update. After eight weeks of chemotherapy and 13 treatments of radiation, my cancer is now in remission. Thank you for everyone's prayers because they truly worked. I look forward to getting back on the radio doing what I love. West is best known for his time in total non-stop action wrestling between the years of 2002 and 2012. He would then leave briefly and return in 2017 where he still works today, of course with the company now known as Impact Wrestling, no longer as a commentator but as the sales director. West also hosts a radio show on News Radio 580 KPQ in Washington State and is now set to return to the airwaves. As we've mentioned in videos over the past week, rumours of an AJ Lee wrestling return may be dead in the water due to her husband CM Punk all but ruling it out in a recent interview due to neck injuries. However, CM Punk was once again asked about the possibility, this time on the Moose and Maggie show where he said, I would love to see it. I get asked that question every single time I do an interview and I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't think she wants to do it because she's a teeny tiny person and she has a bad neck. I think the shelf life for female wrestlers in wrestling, wrestling a full-time schedule, is a lot shorter. It's a lot smaller than men. And I think she's focused on what she's doing now, writing screenplays, she's working on a million different projects, being pulled in so many directions. Unlike last time, Punk did admit that Lee may be receptive to the idea at some points, but is fully focused on doing other things right now, and he said, I think she would probably maybe be receptive to the idea of coming back, but that can't even enter her vocabulary right now. She's so focused on the movie scripts and TV adaptation of a book she's working on. As discussed in my potential AEW All Out surprise video, which you should watch after this, I mentioned it's very, very unlikely AJ will show up in AEW anytime soon if the issues with her neck have continued to persist. As seen in the past, wrestlers have been ruled out for good with neck injuries including Edge and Sting, both of whom made a comeback years later. Perhaps this could be the case at some point in the future, but for now April is doing a bunch of other cool things to occupy her time. 
CM Punk today returned to his Instagram story, which gave us several hints towards his AEW debut two weeks ago, and he has now seemingly revealed some information about his first match back in wrestling after seven years. Punk is scheduled to wrestle Darby Allin in his hometown of Chicago tonight, and I still can't believe I'm saying that, but he has posted a picture that shows that he could be set to bring back some famous in-ring gear from his WWE run. He posted a photo of a box that he keeps his gear in, showing off his yellow attire from SummerSlam 2009, which he also wore during the infamous Pipe Bomb promo in 2011. Also visible was his Halloween-themed gear from 2011, as well as his purple tights from his WrestleMania 29 match with The Undertaker as well in the same year. Whilst this could suggest Punk will be bringing back one of his classic wrestling attires, he could be posting this just to symbolise that he's getting ready for the match. Punk has also joked on Twitter this week that he still needs to get some wrestling boots. I personally would love to see him use the Undertaker themed attire as I think it fits the vibe of Darby Allen too, and it could also be a fun suggestion that Punk's career is back from the dead. And quickly, just before we continue, make sure you drop a like on the video as it helps me out a lot and make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss any upcoming wrestling content as we head hopefully towards 100,000 subscribers. But now let's press play on the video. Next up, John Cena recently appeared on That Scene with Dan Patrick and discussed a number of subjects, including the pressures of performing as well as some dream matches. One of the other topics that came up was a potential career in WWE for UFC megastar Conor McGregor. Many people have said over the years that he's perfect for wrestling, not only bringing a legit fighting background, but he has a ton of charisma and can talk people into a building. Cena revealed that he's in fact a fan of McGregor and thinks he should make the jump and said, he'd be fantastic. He is what we do. What he does is a little less predictable. Our surprises are getting people to show up at random and trying to weave the choose your own adventure to a different alley. His surprises are getting a few teeth knocked out or getting an operation. Not to say that doesn't happen with us, mistakes happen with us, but in his profession it's not a mistake, it's a certainty. I hope because I want to see it. At my core, I'm a fan and he's interesting. He has a gravity about him, I want to see him perform. I would personally love to see what Connor could do in a wrestling ring, whether it be in WWE, which is most likely, or even AEW if Tony Khan wanted to splash the cash. He would bring thousands upon thousands of eyeballs to any promotion that he wrestled in, and the persona he portrays is straight out of a pro wrestling handbook and is clearly inspired by wrestlers of the past. I wouldn't expect anything just yet, as McGregor is recovering from a broken tibia from his last fight with Dustin Poirier, where he lost by Dr. Stoppage. It is expected to take 12 months to recover. It's worth noting though that the injury will likely keep him from reaching the heights that he once did in MMA and he was already past his peak anyway. Perhaps his injury could trigger the transition into the world of wrestling. Tonight we will see, if reports are to be believed, the debut of Brian Danielson in AEW at the All Out pay-per-view. Which by the way you can buy using our Fight affiliate link down in the description where you can get the pay-per-view for just $19.99 internationally and $49.99 in the United States. If you do use the link it helps support the channel a lot and thank you to everyone that has done so so far. But getting back to the Brian Danielson at AEW All Out story, this was recently reported by Bodyslam.net after a change of plans with the debut originally set for the Arthur Ashe Stadium show in Queens, New York. Wrestling Observer have also backed up the story and were told by several sources within the company that Brian will be there tonight. We have a third confirmation now, this time from Fightful, who originally broke the story on talks between AEW and CM Punk. They have spoken to some of the talent in AEW who are under the personal belief that Brian Danielson, the former Daniel Bryan, is showing up. Fightful were also told this was the working plan as of a couple of weeks ago. It was noted that with AEW having multiple big shows on the horizon, things could be moved around, although they had heard that the plan is to bring him out tonight in Chicago. It seems that the message has not officially been passed on to many of the AEW talent, as many have not outright been told that this is true, which is to be expected. It seems unlike CM Punk's debut, Brian could be being kept away from the locker room 
until the reveal. Punk was around the backstage area at AEW Rampage the first dance all day leading up to his debut, socialising with the roster. It should be noted that there were no leaks of his presence throughout the day, so it could also be a similar situation with everyone just remaining tight-lipped. As we've discussed in recent videos, CM Punk has all but confirmed that Brian is indeed AEW bound, and it looks like we're set to enter the final countdown. And this is likely the last video before tonight's pay-per-view, so hopefully you enjoy the show, and if you fancy helping the channel out, make sure you use that Fight Affiliate link that you can find in the description if you've enjoyed the content over the last few weeks. And make sure you check out my video where I discuss 10 times that AEW wrestlers rejected WWE, including Brian Danielson and The Elite.